we have this, which is going to be the base. So as you can see, it's going to be much bigger than the first one that I made. And these three, I'm going to glue together, hot glue together at the bottom. Of course, if you hot glue this, it will be like glue. So you, you're going to need to uh, have support on this. Which I'm just going to hot glue to these together, just like this, on the bottom. Now that is going to be my support. Now, I say I'm going to, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. <laughs> In all truth, I've already done it. <laughs> He's one I prepared earlier. And yeah, this is a good base for what I'm going to do. So, let's put this back. And start with this now. So anyway, first things first, what I want to do is do this... Um, battery compartment thing this is gonna be this way up that will be sorry that will be the front that will be this will be the front side of it this will be the back you know just as it's thingy I will use I will make the tray out of this um, this okay you got here and you have that because uh, obviously it's huge so I did wonder you know where the fleet the battery is gonna go <laughs> So let's switch this, um, this glue gun on and because I will let it itself will take you know, a little while. I always find it therapeutic creating things like this. I'm sure any of you who are into woodwork or DIY are probably nodding your heads at the screen uh, right now because I have no written plan. <laughs> Everything is from the image I visualized in my mind, but it's the way, it's my way of working. Um, I don't really have the adequate tools or skills to do this, so it's my own humble little effort. <laughs> About the amplifier as a whole, I've always dreamed of creating such a thing. Those of you who have been watching my channel will know that I have a thing for VU level meters and any VU display or any display that flashes to music. I remember when I was uh, 13 years old and uh, I connected a 6 volt incandescent light bulb to the headphone socket of my brother's powerful expensive JVC Hi-Fi. Uh, sorry bro, this is confession time. <laughs> anyway. The bulb lit up bright and, cha and changed its brightness, uh, you know, to the music, um, <clears throat> to the patterns of the music, I should say. So I got all excited and started creating little projects involving a speaker and a light bulb. Unfortunately, those little projects are long gone, sucked into some vortex of the past, probably called a trash can. Since then, it was a little dream of mine to build an amplifier with a VU level meter. Yeah, I was a weird yet curious little kid, but here I am now, a weird yet happy woman playing around with electronics and dangerous power tools. <laughs> About that. <laughs> I used to fear these tools actually, but um, I'm the type of person who tries to push herself out of her fears. At times I succeed, other times not so much, but we live, we learn, and we experience, I guess. So these are all the pieces of my project, all just laid out. These are the sides, that is the top, this is the base, that is the back. This is the front panel, which is all the controls are going to be on. This is the LED panel and maybe some controls on that. Right now I am waiting for, I haven't drilled any holes yet, I haven't drilled any holes for the speakers or anything like that. I'm waiting for my... Uh, the drill, which is at my brother's house, it's his, so he's gonna bring it so I can, you know, borrow it of him. Before then, I want to give this a finish, a kind of a varnish, which is an antique pine sort of varnish. I tested this on my record box, which is wooden as well, 
and I really liked you know the look of it so I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do a few coats but tonight is gonna be the first coat so that I can you know I can how I can do something in advance while I'm still waiting for it and this thing unlike the wood hardener this is much more friendlier what I might do is forget, the, I mean, obviously I'm going to put the wood hardener on, but I'm going to put, after this, after all the coats that I've done, and just before I put everything together, I'm going to apply, this is not the color of it, by the way, it's not this dirty gray color, <laughs> this dirty brown color, sorry, I should say. It actually dries up into a really nice color. Um, <laughs> stand up on the table. Okay. Oh, at least like lean it up on the table. A little uh, table is coming handy. <laughs> I'm gonna get this done. I mean, I not as much as like I'm enjoying actually doing it to be honest. Uh, but I want to get it done because I have other things that I need to be doing. One is that computer build, which I I gotta do. Uh, the one which uh, I've got spare, so I need to kind of build it and sell it on. Uh, get that over and done with, so things can be you know less clutter. -er. And of course, I'm gonna use this thing. I didn't even get the chance to use, you know, the first Amplify project that I did. I didn't get the uh, chance to fully use it. It was, uh, I just, I used it once, the first Amplifier version one. I used it once uh, and I was I was enjoying it. But there were things really bothering me. It was like, okay, I should have done this. I should have done that. Oh, why didn't I do that? Da -da 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 -da. All these things going on. In my in my mind, and I thought, oh, okay, let's just get it. You know, it would have been bugging me until I actually do it. So over here in this one, in the version two, everything that was bugging me, I just, you know, I just included it and found out, found ways how to do it. You know, all the little adjustments, and I still have some things which I just wanna, you know, just wanna. Because I can be a perfectionist. I can be a perfectionist. Um, <laughs> I want everything a certain. I want things a certain way sometimes in certain cases. Um, especially when I'm creating something, I'm very much a perfectionist. I do not want to waste all these droplets. So I'll put them on here. I think if I do any future projects. Base wood is definitely going to be the material I will use. I like how old they're all leaning on each other. <laughs> I like that. Oops. Like here, they're all just leaning on each other. <laughs> that table started it off, and then this started it, and then it just went all around in a circle. But I'm running out of place to actually um, lean. Now then, <laughs> all I need to do with this is just leave it, and that's it. Uh, just wash this down, everything. Ooh. And I will skip to tomorrow. Ta-da! There's a freaking mess here, <laughs> and my hands, everything. A um, lot of industrious work here <laughs> going on here. It's like Dremel tools, drills, uh, and jigsaws goodness knows what but I managed to do the front panel and the two speakers here one here one there and the balance sorry the uh, treble and the bass control and the volume which goes there and it already looks like a face with two rosy cheeks <laughs> anyway so I mean obviously I got a bit hardcore on this thing with the help of you know my brother <laughs> uh, I got some hardcore on this and I need to do the sides, like uh, two speakers. So I've got this 
And I've got this and it's almost, it's almost done actually. The circuitry and everything is done. I even put the uh, pieces. I even put the uh, the sensor here, the uh, the fan and the sensor. You will see a pic. You will see a photograph of that here, and that. Well, you know that's autom automated. So as soon as these get hot, the thermistor will come on, and the thermistor will make the fan come on, and yeah and everything will be nice and cool this is i need to put some air vents on the top though but i'm waiting for my dremel piece uh, that and also cutting in uh the the space for the um the line out and line in i've actually connected the speakers up as you can see here and there's that, that mesh that uh, goes material to protect them from dust and you know any sort of impact I need to still connect the, the ones at the front but that will be you know that will be no problem and the ones at the other side I've done the circuit itself practically I all I, I've done I've replaced the capacitors here uh, they used to be um, lower powered capacitors like the 16 volt capacitors here so just to play it safe I, I changed them to 25 volt capacitors with higher capacitance too um, this now allows me this now runs at 20 volts no problem I have no fear of any capacitors exploding and giving off a stinky rotten onion smell <laughs> which they tend to always do when they burst anyway um that's that this the circuit here is the heat sensing circuit i will as you can see in the photograph here more clearly uh it has yeah it's very simple it's the one i did in this video uh you will see the link to the video in the annotations here and also down in the description uh, just above the comments box and under the like button <laughs> um, this thing at the back here is the power input so that's the input i need to connect the power adapter the, the laptop power adapter to this so that i can you know i have the external power as well as of course you know i need to connect the i need, sorry, i need to I need to screw in a handle here so I can pull this battery compartment out without breaking my nails. <laughs> yeah. Right, so finally, finally, I've been waiting all this time to uh, to get the uh, the blades for my Dremel. There's so blades here, and they finally arrived. Um, this is my Dremel here. We have the the Dremel uh, 3000 drill here, and the actual blades here which actually fit on okay let's just kind of like take all these out so i can like show you okay so you have these uh six blades here you need to be very careful with these because the actual edges the jagged edges are actually sharp so i can you know easily cut myself obviously not to exceed that but i don't think i'm going to need it that fast um, and yeah, there you have it. You now, obviously, if you want to cut the bigger thing, you got this and a different si type than the other ones. And of course, with things like this, tie my hair up, safety first. Tie my hair up, goggles on, and I start. And you tighten, press this in. Right, so I've cut this wedge out and there it is and it just needs a little bit smoothening and uh, once I smoothened it I can glue this uh, input and output dream actually before I glue, glue that in what I need to do is uh, Now what I need to do with this is countersink it, as in smoothen the the edges, like be, bevel it, I guess. I don't know what 
She's used a counter sink on it. I don't know what the term is, so. That's the counter sink, so let's kind of. Oops. So I will screw this back in. And the battery is running out on the camera. Well then. Freak. This battery is messed up. I need to kind of. Either just use the charger all the time or get it replaced. Or well, eventually it's gonna end up being. No, you can actually see there that that is not centered. I'm not happy about that because it kind of goes like that rather than straight. Excuse the crudeness of, of the design of the case because you know things are not you know perfectly symmetrical or anything like this. Um, you know there are imperfections. It's full of imperfections. So excuse that, but I think that's just a sign that it's made with love. <laughs> it's you know I know that's my excuse, but um, I mean <laughs> it's handmade. I'm not good at everything. I'm not good at the woodwork or anything like that. I had an image of how it would look in my mind, but um, I don't have the skills to actually do metal work or woodwork or you know plastic or whatever. But I wanted something customized and I wanted to look like a retro-ish design and it kind of does. <laughs> so yeah, this will have to be it. But also, to add to the retro sense of it, um, I've given it not only the batteries, but also a... Um, oh, that's forgot. For the battery compartment here, I need to add a little handle so I can pull. Right now, I cannot even pull it out. Unless I use a screwdriver to freaking leave it out. Right, so, what I'm going to do is just like label some of the switches on the LEDs. And that's it, this should be fine now. I just need to like just the final touches and then what I'm going to do is the demonstration of this I'm gonna make in another video because I'm sure this video is gonna be long enough with all the makings of it and everything like that. So I will leave that for another video. But for now, this is what it is. And it's quite, you know, it's quite beefy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a little creature of some sort, but yeah, the big reveal of how it's gonna sound will be in the next video. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, of course, if you have any thoughts, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more uh, as there's more coming. So, yeah, I say goodbye now, me and little smiley dude here. <laughs> say goodbye.